Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first card, which represents the topic, the very theme for you, Sagittarius, about the month, that is going to be the Four of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands for the peripheral activities that you can go for here, that is going to be the Two of Swords. <clears throat> Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here, which stands for the Queen of Cups. Then uh, the fourth one is going to be the positive aspect for you. Uh, we do have the, the moon card. And then the last one is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering to you. That will be the tower card. Wow. All right. So uh, before the tower card, I would have said that this is the most usual and normal month that one can have. Okay. A month deprived from uh, from crisis and a month deprived from any exciting experiences as well. That was before the Tower card came up as a guidance. So while the month is going to be extremely peaceful in regards to activity, so you may not expect things to happen in a bad way into your career, you know, into your relationship, in the same time, you have this this month is your window where you can make a difference you can make your relationship the way you want it you can make your career the way you want it as well and etc etc but before we go into that guys let's run the cards one more time so we do have the four of swords which stands for the uh topic or the general team followed by the uh, Two of Swords, which is the peripheral activities here. Afterwards, that is going to be the Queen of Cups, which stands for the challenges. Then is going to be the Moon card, which represents the positive aspect. And then the final one here, that will be the Tower card, which stands for the guidance. Okay, so Four of Swords, like said, the activity of the month, is going, is going to be so peaceful that you will have as much time as you need in the world, you know, to, to take it for yourself. And as well, I would say to figure out how you are to approach certain situations like into your marriage or into your career as well. My point here with the Four of Swords, when it happens, you know, is when usually the time that the Four of Swords marks its uh, it has no problems whatsoever. Even if you do have problems up until um, entering into the month, 
when you enter into the month of September Sagittarius, the problems are going to quickly disappear. Now, the thing, however, is that they are not resolved. They're just going to disappear and they are to resurface once again further into the future, but not throughout the month of September. And that's why the month of September, it is a crucial month where you will need to figure out your strategy, how to face these problems when they are to resurface further into the future. So a month of deliberations, a month of conversations, a month of negotiations as well, a month where it will be most beneficial for you to seek a professional help. Should you, for example, face a, a monetary difficulties, maybe it's time for you to go and um, consult yourself with financial advisor or with a business advisor. Should you face anxiety, maybe it's a time for you to go and, and, and see a shrink you know, because this card, should you seek, with this card, should you seek professional help, that professional help is going to give a, a results. The accompanied one is going to be the Knights of Pentacles here, formation. It is a... Uh, <clears throat> active enemies and yeah you can you can pretty much relax throughout the months all right there are, there is nothing that demands your uh, attendance uh, at the minute okay and uh, it's it will be a lot well it's it, there is no other way to say it really it's just just the month itself is going to be so relaxing so carefree as well uh, and uh it feels like this was the, uh, it will feel like this was the long waited kind of like a time of, of solace, a time of respite, you know, a time of, 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 of break that you needed so you can gather up your thoughts and, and focus upon your strategies for a, the far future. Now, the uh, peripheral activities, two of swords, simple as that there aren't there aren't any all right like with the problems also the responsibilities in regards to peripheral stuff are not going to be in a demanding fashion meaning that you can go for them or you can very safely you know decide not to go for them as well the accompanied card here is going to be the tree of wands formation it is a active uh, friends so with the tree, a tree of wands here adds a fashion of a uh, or a shade I would say of a, a very clever and um, how do I say it very clever and calculative approach in regards to the uh, day by day routine into one's life right meaning that you, it's it's difficult to explain it really. Um, let's say that your your wife asks you to clean the house. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that you got to make it with a sense of emergency, while in the same time, while your wife is, is telling you to clean the house, when you tell something to your wife, your wife never obeys it, or rather like it never obliges it. So you do not clean the house until your wife asks you why, and then you can say, well, when I ask you something, do you do it? No. So why should I do what you are asking me for? So that's that's the whole point here, you know, that you don't have to do it straight away. And uh, one more thing here is that if you can do something well, never do it for free. OK, you just never do it for free. The challenges that you need to face here, Sagittarius, this is going to be the Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups, it's a person <clears throat> and Challenging is going to be because this is a, a very emotionally overflowing person. I don't think that this is someone who is uh, tightly related to you. The way I see it here, it is some sort of a, a friend or, or a very close associate of yours that simply it's, it's kind of like emotionally overburdening you with their problems. That is going to be the, the, the whole challenge, you know, that you will need to endure throughout this if you don't want to make them feel bad saying that, look, I don't have time for that, right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Pentacles. And yeah, it, it does look like that they do have a, a serious issues or, or it's not even an issue. It's more like a uh, they are facing a wall or they are facing some, some predicament that they don't know how to act in it. Well, they do know, but they just want something, to, someone to commiserate on them. And unfortunately, unfortunately, Sagittarius, you are that victim that needs to or that have been chosen to commiserate upon this person. Another version of interpretation of these cards is that this person here uh, have a, uh, stronger emotions than you think towards you and they are 
hoping to find shelter and solace in your company and maybe as well something more. Now, as a challenge, it will be advisable for you to resist it up until this month. Like said, this month is time for you where you reorganize yourself, right, and rally instead of uh, doing things that are further going to, uh, that are going to disrupt this peacefulness and this calmness of the, uh, of the environment. So the positive aspect here, it is the moon card. So uh, as a positive aspect, the moon card points that you can structure your life around very, very substantial goal, right? Uh, around a goal that up until this point kind of looks ridiculous. It, it looks preposterous, really. A goal that I simply cannot be reached right now, right? But because the month is very peaceful, the month is depriving you from a, a problems, you can do double time into planning and it is very, very possible, I would say even plausible, that you can figure it out. You can figure that recipe of success here. The accompanied card is going to be the Eight of Cups formation. It is a passive supporters that we do have and we definitely are talking about new perspective that you are to obtain throughout the months Def different per new per it's not different it's a new perspective all right acknowledging that there are times in life where when people are down and when the when the results are dissatisfiable all right but this is life it's it's a constant up and down and as you may find yourself right now surrounded by problems which are suddenly disappearing and you are finding yourself into the rock bottom well there is no more room to go downwards you know the only way for you it's upwards so it's it's about looking for the uh, far future throughout the month of September so plan big it's, it's very very important and the last one is the guidance that will be the tower card Wow, so you can really transform yourself throughout the month. As a matter of fact, this is what the cards asks you, all right? Bring down structures. It's just deny failure. And, and under bringing down structures, I mean the things that you're not happy with, all right? Reorganize them, restructure them, because you can throughout the month, as the month is going to be very peaceful, very undemanding, carefree as well. And as you are to, to be into this environment, you are going to be the one who wreaks the havoc right and through havoc a new era is done the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of pentacles the formation it is a active uh, neutrals that we do have so with the nine of pentacles uh whatever you try to reorganize whatever you try to change whatever you try to transform into your life either your relationship or either your career you need to take it seriously all right so this is the only thing that you gotta take serious here because it's not gonna be a walk in the park it may involve some you know unpleasant circumstances it may involve some confrontations as well things which are necessary you know it's the necessary evil so you can traverse your situation from a poignant into rather very very successful one and like said you do have all the space and peace in the world and time as well to do it so that being said uh this was your weekly tower reading sagittarius uh i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys uh monthly tower reading excuse me for september 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you um and you liked it and we're going to see each other around until then, bye.